Hello everyone, everyone was six here, welcome back to part three of Cuphead. Alright, so on the last time we came up here and defeated, uh, uh, Groupy LeGround, I believe his name was. Uh, let's see why his flag here. Let's see what happens if I try to go into again. So I can refight him, I guess, if I want. I'm not gonna do that, because I don't want to fight him again. Alright, so, uh, and then this area unlocked as soon as we beat him, so I didn't explore this area last time, so we're gonna see what's up here. So let's see what this guy has to say. What's that? You two want to fly in a plane? Like I do? Ha! I think he's, I think you're supposed to, I think the game assumes that you're playing with a second player. You're not sitting in any cockpit until you study those blueprints. These blueprints? Airplane blueprints. Enter. Let's see. Oh, no. Is this a level? I didn't plan this. Oh, interesting. Shh. X, shoot, hopeful rapid fire, special, one meter X attack, four meters of super bomb and more. Interesting. So you can A to parry, and Y to reduce size, increase speed, and creep the melee but Oh, interesting. Cool. So you can parry shots by the A, the special X. Oh, okay, interesting. So you get to control a plane too, instead of just uh, being on foot. All right, cool. So it's kind of like a tutorial for. The... Interesting. The threatening zeppelin. Another boss fight. I'm gonna go see what's down here. What, let's see what this other boss was. The uh, this guy, the Botanic Panic. Uh, they put that difficulty thing over there because they, they just want people to try. They just want people to, to simplify the difficulty down. Oh, that was pink. I bet she could parry. That's probably important for Hilly. Oh. All right, all right, down in the first base. Now he's an onion. First there was a potato, now it's an onion. Uh, of course, onions make you cry. I am very, <laughs> I'm, I for one am very familiar with onions crying. I have to deal with it all the time. All right, so I beat him. So I beat the uh, potato, I beat the onion. Here's a carrot. Somehow I was able to his mind control these carrots to us. <laughs> I like Damn it. That was cool. Wow, I actually got pretty far on that boss fight in the first try. Hopefully this will go better than the last time. It helps that their hitboxes are so big so I can keep jumping and hitting them at the same time. All right, and get ahead. Damn it! Still gotta get this pair to, 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 to the pairing ability. And what happens if I try to? If I, I guess I don't know what happens if I parry because it didn't. Uh, it didn't matter. It's gotta, it's gotta be close to killing him. The other three forms died pretty quickly. Or the other two forms, I should say. Alright, so I just do damage, as much damage as I can while the carrots are flying at me and while he's doing this ESP stuff. I can't really. Oh no! I ran right into one. So close to. I'm lean, mean, and full of beta carotene. 
This match will get red hot. Now go! I wonder if I could parry the, the little worm. But you can't I can't parry it. Ah, damn it. So what I had to so story wise, would I have to collect all three of their souls? Yeah. And do as much damage as I can. Okay, that doesn't work. Mind controlling carrots. This game has it all. Ah, damn it, I thought I was gonna kill it before I ran into it. Alright, we're gonna keep going. Voila! Kill that one without, without losing a hit point. I like the concept, but that, that, that noise is so annoying. Oh, damn it. Just had a sacrifice hit point there. Gotta be close. No! Oh, I thought I almost dashed into it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God. I almost thought I'd bit, bit it there. Ah, I got him. Yes, finally. Oh, one hit point again. It's probably I was going to get another C. I bet you if you speed run this game and knew what you were doing. I got another scene. I wonder if you knew what you were doing this game would be really quick. I wouldn't have taken 15 minutes to down this game by now. Now we'll see what we can unlock with this one. <laughs> Got root pack. The soul, you got the root pack soul contract. I wonder who this guy is. I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place, too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spend it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin, too, good for him. That's what I say. Huh. Oh. Clip joint calamity. Interesting. So that's probably what... He's probably telling me there are coins all over the place. I wonder, I wonder if he's talking about those these these missions right here. Or he's talking about something else. You see something else say? Hey guys, good to see you again. Oh, those coins helped out a bit. Maybe check the folks out. Maybe that maybe. The one's not trying to kill you, I mean. Alright, so now that we have a little bit of experience, but I am gonna go back to this and see if I can do this. You're up. Running gun. The 
just hold down the X button. This one thing has been has been has made this experience a lot better. I've noticed I have not lost a single hit point so far. And I'm already at the point where I've lost two or three by now. There we go. These eight points are coming down now. Alright, now we're at this pit. Uh, for HP, so I don't know how, how I'm going to get out other than just sacrificing a hit point by doing that. Unless it has something to do with the acorns? Can you parry them? Can you parry things that are not that are not pink? I wonder. The acorns. <laughs> oh. Ah, so there's the front of plants that can, uh, that can hit, that can hurt you. The dash! What am I thinking? God, the dash. I, the, I didn't need to sacrifice a hit point to cross that thing. I could just use the dash. I'm a game journalist. I've realized my calling in life. I'm just now realizing that I needed to do the dash. Bravo, hooray! Hopefully they got all five coins, which we can use. I didn't lose a single life. It's amazing that just playing it for slightly less than an hour and, and that much better at the game. A brand new record! That reminds me of from the Mario Party games where it goes, NEW RECORD! Right now I got more coins, so let's see what we got in the shop. Hopefully, we got, let's see, is there a chase? Long range, oh, so that's a shot. Long range blow average damage, no aim and fire. First time parry, uh, I'm, this actually is pretty useful. Super meter uh, continues to fill, in addition to what you earn. Interesting. Can't buy anything else. I didn't buy this one, too. But so your pair first double the damage and axe attack. Alright, so let's see what we got. Ah. I can't ha I can't have them all, unfortunately. I'm gonna try the sugar. You wanna take damage first? Alright, so I have some choices. I can either do the boat boss, or I can go across. I'm gonna score here first. Can I? Oh, I thought I saw a. Uh... Hey, look, a fishy. Be gone, spirits. Oh, wait, here we go. I was, about, I was about to hit you with the old parry move. That's how I deal with ghosts around here. Only a new would try shooting someone who ain't really there. Speaking of not being places, would you mind if those mind moving on? You're spooking the fish. <laughs> I'm guessing that has a pretty obvious hint to what's going on, going on here. Hmm. I'm gonna try the plain one. Got about five or six minutes left for it. Let's see what I can do with this. Oh, we'll get a sneak peek at it if I can't beat it. Threatening Zeppelin. That's a zeppelin. Looks more like a a, a, a woman in a in a in a in a, in a windfinder. I'm not paying as close attention to my surroundings at all. Wow, she's got five stages. You won't get too far. It's been foretold in the stars. But she's an airship. So I. Uh, 
so her ha is damaging me, and I can't shoot it down. Now this is a shump. I remember playing Raiden Project back when I was a kid. My uh, my cousin had it. With Raiden 1 and 2 on a PS1 disc. It was my first experience with a shoot 'em up and this reminds takes me back to it. A little bit less complicated than Raiden though. Interesting. Oh, okay. So there's the first phase gone. Well, this this one maps is just full of surprises. So some of those fish uh, shot uh, parryable uh, projectiles. I wonder what they do. There's one. But I don't know what it does. All right, so I just need to stay. I need to stay away from it when it when it's going to telegraph its uh, attacks. And of course, fitting, isn't it? I'm a blimp. You're a wimp. She doesn't really look like a blimp. Oh uh, yeah, I keep forgetting my bit of abilities. <laughs> the music in this one is trying to make you uh, feel a lot more uh, lively and, and rambunctious. Ah, a twister. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a difficult boss. Wait, I wonder if the smoke bomb isn't going. Well, what what did I put? What are the thing? What are the? Gotta remember that she comes back. I'm gonna exit the map. All right, we'll try that one later. What else can I do? Eat it. Da 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 Clip joint calamity. You know what? I think I'm just gonna stop here. Uh, it's been long enough. All right. So, hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you all uh, can appreciate the, the the difference in quality, the difference in this level. Like, it really surprised me how, how easy I was able to beat it in this episode compared to episode one, where I was just completely failed at this one for the entire episode. Um, so, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm going to sign off. I hope you see you all later, and uh, everyone was signing off.